Hello, welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday, everybody. Jumping back on YouTube to do a bag comparison video. This request comes from my last video on the triple compartment crossbody and seawater blooms. I got a couple questions in particular to compare the triple compartment bag to the Carson Mini. Um, the first request came from Nisha, Nisha, sorry if I'm pronouncing your name or your, uh, um, your handle incorrectly, but I just want to bring you this video to do the comparison. And also, I pulled out a few more of my smaller to medium-ish size bags that are around the same size and the same capacity as the triple compartment crossbody in case you have those other styles and you want to see a, a comparison of the two. So I just did a, an in-depth review on this bag yesterday. I just got it yesterday. And that was more of a first impressions video on this bag because I was able to load it up right after my trip to the signature store and use it on several errands yesterday. So that was more of a first impressions. I will be back at some point in the future when I have used this bag for more days and uh, give you a more in-depth review, review. But so far, first impressions, I am loving this bag. I do have all of my stuff currently packed in this bag and I'm going to go ahead and start with the comparison. So the first bag that I have up in the comparison is the cotton version of the Carson Mini shoulder bag shown here in the pattern Lavender Meadow. So when I was in the signature store yesterday, I was trying to choose between this bag and the Carson Mini and Performance Twill Seawater Blooms. They are the exact same price in Performance Twill. They are both $90. There is a crossbody sale going on right now where you will not have to pay full retail price. That's what I ended up uh, doing yesterday. So I was debating between those two bags. And I again, I got a couple questions on yesterday's video and on what I thought of the two styles and which I would choose, which holds more, etc. Here's how I answered one of those questions. The Performance Twill Carson Mini, I feel like does not have a very flexible opening. So you'll see that the, the opening of the Carson Mini here in cotton, the zipper is not that wide, but I feel like even in the Performance Twill, it's not very flexible because of the material. So when I was messing around with the Carson Mini in Seawater Blooms yesterday, I kind of noticed that. And after sitting there and thinking for a little bit, I thought to myself, well, I already have a cotton Carson Mini that I love. And if this comes out in Hummingbird Park in a couple of weeks, that's what I wanna get. I wanna get the cotton version. So I thought to myself, let me just try something new. So I went with this bag and I don't regret it. I'm happy that I went with this. I like that you have the, the wider zippers. And so when you open it up, you know, you can get in the pocket nice and wide. And again, this Carson is in cotton. This is not the Performance Twill, but you'll see that the opening is not quite as wide, but you do have a bigger base. So this was just kind of my guess, but the Performance Twill Carson Mini versus the Performance Twill Triple Compartment Crossbody, I would say capacity-wise is very similar. So even though I don't have the Performance Tool Carson Mini, we're just gonna use the cotton to compare today. So first, on the Cotton Carson Mini, you've got this magnetic snap front pocket, which is just one big pocket. And on the triple compartment crossbody, you, for front pocket, you have this zipper pocket that goes all the way around and opens like so. On the Carson Mini on the back, you have a hidden magnet pocket and there is nothing on the back, the very back of the triple compartment crossbody. However, you do have this back zipper pocket that is one of the compartments in triple compartment that opens up nice and wide and you do have two slip pockets and one zip. This Carson Mini, and I think all of the Carson Minis, whether it's in the Performance Twill water repellent material or the cotton, comes with a removable, adjustable, swivel strap, which I love about these types of bags. And I've really started to appreciate that about 
bags in general that have the removable swivel straps because they don't get tangled as much as fixed straps. This has the same deal. This also has the removable adjustable, there's the adjuster, swivel strap. So while this has more compartments, the Carson Mini has this one big compartment, which is your main interior with the zipper pocket and the two slips on the back. And again, this is your base. This is the base of your main compartment. So you have a lot of room with that. And then here is the base of the triple compartment. While it's smaller, I still think the way it redistributes stuff with all the compartments that it fits somewhat of a similar amount. And this is the middle open compartment. You've got the hidden magnet. If you want to see more on this bag, I recommend checking out. If you're, if you're coming to this video and you're like, I want to just learn more about this one, I will link uh, that Seawater Blooms haul down below where I talk about this bag for the majority of the video. But I want to go ahead and as I'm going through this comparison, I'm going to show you that I can fit pretty much everything in this bag, or at least let's find out together into these bags. So let's start with the Carson Mini here. So in the front pocket of the Seawater Blooms, I've got my two sets of keys. So this is going to go in the flap pocket of the Carson Mini. In this first zipper pocket, I've got right now just these three things. Let me make sure my ID is not showing. My wallet with lanyard, AirPods, and my Cinda B tech case, which just has my chargers in it. These items are going to go in this main interior here. So this is what I would do. I would just put this down in the main interior, this as well. And I think I'll just put my wallet down in the main interior too. And that is all that is in that pocket. Hand sanitizer, since I do have it clipped to the outside in this case, I will go ahead and clip this to the outside right here. Okay, as for this hidden magnet pocket, I just have a mask. So this mask is going to go for now in the back magnetic pocket. And now we're on to the last pocket here in the back. So I have in here my coin purse with Tylenol and headache medicine. My tissue case that also has in the zipper pocket band-aids and little necessities like that. My lotion bottle, which I need to refill. My sunglasses, out of case. And in one of the slip pockets, I have a hair tie and chapstick. So there's the main interior. You can get a better look there. And there's the zipper pocket, which I did not utilize in this situation. And so as for these two items, I'm just going to put them down into the bottom of the bag. Lotion is going to go in a slip pocket, and I'll, I'll get you in here in just a second. Sunglasses also going in a slip pocket since I don't have a case for them. Hair tie, just going to throw it down into the main interior. Chapstick in the back. And boom. So phone, my cell phone, iPhone 11 would also go in that back pocket there. So this is what the main interior looks like with all of the same stuff that I just pulled out of the triple compartment crossbody. I did not utilize the zipper pocket in this case either, but all the things that are in the tissue case would go in that slip pocket, but I just prefer to use the tissue case for right now. So you'll see it pretty much fills up the whole bag, pretty much, all my stuff. You can see the wallet is back in this corner here. So I, I don't know that there's a whole ton of room for anything else, but I probably could fit something else in the back. Or if I stood up the Cinda B case like that, this is just my hair tie floating at the top here. So I could absolutely fit something in that pocket, whether that be like another zip ID full of other stuff or another coin purse or something like that. So that is everything in my triple compartment into the Carson Mini shoulder bag. You can see the base fully extended there. This is a great bag. I highly recommend this. Again, I so I, did, I don't think I told you this part. I did order a performance twill, so this material, Carson Mini, 
and Bedford plaid on Amazon several weeks ago because it was really discounted and that was my chance to try the Carson Mini in the performance tool material. I have to be honest, I did send it back. I did not like it as well as the Carson Mini in the cotton. Again, because it wasn't very flexible, the zipper opening is a little small. So with the performance twill material being as stiff because it is water resistant material, I just didn't love it as much. And of course the cotton is a little more flexible than the performance twill. So I do love the Carson Mini. I've used this already so much. And I, if there is going to be a cotton version of the Carson Mini in Hummingbird Park in the next couple weeks, that is one of the bag styles that I'm going to pick up in uh, the Hummingbird print because that's how much I like this style in the cotton. So that's what I can fit in there. The next style that has similar capacity that we're going to move on to is the mini multi compartment crossbody. I think this is what it's called. And I did do an in depth review on this bag. I called it the MMCC for short, mini multi compartment crossbody, because it is quite a mouthful. But I thought that this had a very similar capacity to these other small bags. So let's take whatever is in here and put it in here and then. I will kind of show you side by side what this is gonna look like compared to the triple compartment crossbody. Okay, so here's my cell phone. I would probably put my cell phone for right now in this back cell phone slip pocket. It's perfect for a cell phone. For the mask right now, I'm going to flip to the other side and put that in this bigger slip pocket so it's similar to the cell phone pocket, but it is a little bit bigger and has a wider opening. I'm also gonna throw my chapstick in that same pocket. As for the hand sanitizer clip to the outside, we do have some metal hardware here, if I can get this off, on the outside of the bag. So I, this is the technically the front, but you can you can do either side, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to go ahead and clip my hand sanitizer right there. And then going into the front flap of the Carson Mini, what did I put in here? I've got my two sets of keys, so let's figure out where those are gonna go in the MMCC here. So typically I would like my keys to be as quick grab as possible. Oh, let's take out the strap here. This also has the removable adjustable swivel strap. So there is a, um, a pattern here with these three bags. I think for now, let's see, I would like my keys actually to be in this bigger slip pocket because again, quick access and that makes a difference for keys I think for me. So I've got those in there. Now let's bust into the main interior here. So I've got lotion. For now, I'm going to put it in this back magnetic slip pocket, or uh, hidden magnet pocket, I should call it. So here's the structure of this bag. I will link this review on this down below where I go through this more in depth. But here's the cell phone pocket. This layer is a hidden magnet pocket and there's no organization in this one. Then you separate these two compartments and it reveals a large zipper interior with one zipper. And then here is the next hidden magnet compartment and you do get one zipper pocket in there. And then you have that bigger slip pocket on the other side. So you've got lots of layers of pockets and you've got a hefty base for a small bag, which is why I thought, you know, this is a very small bag, but it's got lots of compartments similar, similar to this, but maybe even more. Okay, so in this front uh, magnetic pocket that has no um, no organization, I'm gonna go ahead and put my tissue case in there. So right now I'm also going to put my um, lavender metal coin purse in there. As for the zipper pocket, this is where I'm gonna put my valuables, like my wallet, for example. Wallet and lanyard, gonna go down in there. I'll stand it up for right now. I'll go ahead and put the Cinda B. 
and I'm going to put my AirPods down there. And this is what it looks like. There's no organization in this pocket either. So you'll see there's tons of room in there. Um, let's zip that up. And that's what it looks like zipped up. So then we've got sunglasses. I, in this case, probably would put my soft sunglasses case on these because there is no slip pocket to put this in to keep it from falling down into the bottom of the bag. But since I just want to show you everything that I fit into my triple compartment crossbody, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there without a case and also throw my hair tie down in there. And that's it for the lavender meadow bag. So I just want to show you side by side of those two. And let me show you a side by side of these two. So we've got a width on this one, a little more height on this one. This is going to be a lot thicker, going to be a lot wider than the triple compartment crossbody. Plus, in terms of carrying options, you do have more options with this bag because you've got these really cute grab handles. So if you want to go crossbody strap free, you can with this bag. So this is the crossbody strap. It's basically got the same width and adjustment as both the Carson Mini that I just showed you and the triple compartment. So you can see they're basically the same width there. This is also an adjustable, removable, swivel strap, which is great, my favorite. And this hooks up like so. So in this magnetic pocket, there is a fabric loop. So you would hook this onto the fabric loop like so. And then on the other magnetic pocket, you also have a fabric loop. Like so. And so it looks like that. Try to back up a little bit here. So it looks like that. And boy, it is full. And I will say, it kind of pulls that pocket open a little bit with this crossbody strap. So let me show you what it looks like with everything inside. So we've got keys and masks and chapstick in there. Hand sanitizer clipped on the outside. The first magnetic pocket, tissue case and a lavender meadow coin purse. We saw the inside of the zipper that had my zip ID, send the B case and AirPods only. And in this back case, I've got hair tie, lotion, sunglasses, and then just my phone in the phone slip. So that is the mini multi-compartment crossbody and I again I will leave that link down below in case you want to look at that some more but got all the same stuff in here that was in here this seems like it has a little bit more room to stuff more stuff but I wouldn't just because and, and that's just a personal thing I wouldn't because it's already heavy I feel like it's it's heavy for this bag it might be because my phone because iPhones are heavy for for no reason at all um, but it's also that, you know, this has got a lot of compartments. It's got a lot of different things going on. So I feel like it is a little bit heavier than this with all of the same stuff inside. I did not notice this being heavier with all of this stuff inside. And again, I just think it's because this has a little bit more going on in terms of pockets and organization. So there's a kind of a side by side of those two. Now we're going to go on to the next bag. This one's a little smaller. So this is one of my holy grail bags. This is the VBU crossbody. You've seen this before on my channel in the petite garden pattern, the same pattern as my zip ID. This pattern, actually. I recently found this in the chambray, and I love it because I'm loving solid color bags right now. So this is a little bit of a smaller crossbody, but don't be fooled that it's small. It can fit a lot. I haven't, did, I haven't done a load test with all of the same stuff yet, so we're going to see if everything that fits into this bag fits into this one. Let's go. Okay, first off, the phone. The phone is going to go in this back slip pocket. It's got no magnet, 
no zipper, no snap, nothing. It's just an open pocket. You do have an adjustable strap here. It is not removable and it is not like the swivel type strap. It's a fixed strap. You've got the zipper pocket on the front, slip pocket with a hidden magnet, which I love. And then you've got the main interior, which has some basic organization, one zipper pocket on the back, no other pockets. And there's the base. So we already got the phone back there. Let's see what else we can get. So keys, sets of keys usually go under the flap. You know what's missing? My pepper spray. I was thinking I'm missing something that I usually carry in my bag. It's in that Stephanie Dawn bag back there. I forgot to take that out yesterday. So we're just gonna keep going with the same stuff instead of trying to find room for that right now because we are working with uh, smaller bags. But yes, that is something that I would usually take with me. But we do have the keys in that pocket. Chapstick is also gonna go in that pocket. And hand sanitizer, since again, we've got the clip here, we're just gonna go ahead and clip that right there. Okay, we've got the lavender metal coin purse. Just gonna stick that inside the main interior with the tissue case. And you can already see it's starting to take up some space there. I usually do utilize the zipper pocket in this bag because it is a smaller bag. We've got the lotion that's gonna go in the main interior and the sunglasses. I'll show you exactly where I like to put those. I like to put the sunglasses in this zipper pocket out here because it's separated, it's kind of padded, so it's protected in there. And you can kind of see the outline a little bit there. Also have a hair tie that's gonna go in the main interior. And last but not least, we've got to break into this zipper pocket here and get my last three things, which is the Cinda B Let's Get Techie, my wallet, and what's the last thing? Oh. AirPods. Mask. I usually have that in a in a little lug pouch, but I am going small right now, so I did not did not get that going here. So let me just go ahead and slip this back in this purse here. Put that off to the side for a second. Okay. So you can get an idea. Look how packed this is, but everything fits. So we've got the tissue case, the coin purse, the wallet, the Cinda B, the lotion, the mask, and the AirPods all in the main compartment. The zipper pocket is not being used, but again, if I wasn't using this, everything in here would go in that zipper pocket. So now that we've got her nice and full, phone and everything, phone in the back, that's what she looks like. Got a little bit of bulk there. That's the keys. It's always the keys bulking things out. Oh, and the pepper spray in this bag would just go right over here on this side of the, the pocket. So that's what that looks like. Here it is up against the triple compartment. So you can kind of get a comparison. You can see this one is a lot smaller, but she's got some width and maybe has a, you know, those that nice flap pocket because the sunglasses are bulky. The sunglasses really do take up some space and when you're able to alienate them outside like that, that really does help. So there you go. A lot smaller but fits all the same stuff. That's why I love this bag style. It's one of my favorites. So that is the VBU crossbody and chambre. Um, oh, let me just put it up against these so you can see. So it's not too far off from the Carson Mini to be honest. Structure and all. This has got a little bit more height on it, but I like that this flap has a zipper pocket, whereas this one doesn't. But I like that the Carson Mini has a hidden magnet on this pocket, whereas this back pocket doesn't. So they both got their pluses and minuses, I guess. And then here is the comparison between these two. It's kind of bent there, but hopefully that gives you a good idea. And then this one, I would say, is the most similar to the triple compartment crossbody. 
I also did a quick comparison on these two in this video that I did, which is linked down below. Um, but I did not do a load test with this one. So we're going to go ahead and fill this, everything in here, up in this bag so you can get an idea of what that looks like. Okay. So first things first is the cell phone. I would put... Sorry, I've got like a hair in my face or something. I am going to put the cell phone in this pocket. And again, the configuration between these two bags is the exact same. So this is going to go in that pocket. Hidden magnet. Let's just bust right into the main interior and get started here with this. So I will show you exactly what I'm doing here in just a second. Let me go ahead and put this in here first. One, two, and three. Okay, so this first big zipper pocket, I've got my wallet, AirPods, and send to be case. Let's go ahead and open up this back zipper because we're going to start putting stuff in here. Coin purse. Sunglasses in the slip pocket, one of the slip pockets. I'm going to open this and put the chapstick in there and the keys are going to go in the front zip like that um, lotion is going to just go down in here and the tissue case so yes this has an inch less of width so you could already see i don't even have everything in there yet and look how bulky when we saw this earlier, this was not as bulky. So we're already bulking this one out. We still have stuff. Okay, hair tie is gonna go in the slip pocket with the chapstick and I promise I'll show you here. Just give me two seconds. All right, make sure I got everything. Oh, no I didn't. Hand sanitizer, we'll clip this to this outside strap ring. And I think we've got everything out of the VBU. All right. So here's what we're working with. We've got the hand sanitizer clip to the strap. Here's the thing about this strap. Again, we've got a non-removable strap. It's not swivel. It is a, a good width for the size, I would say, and it is adjustable, which is great. I think this is in the pattern Cornflower Blossoms. So front zipper pocket. We'll see that it's not as wide as this front zipper pocket. This one goes all the way across the bag, where this one probably has like at least an inch of space on each side. So I've got the keys in there. Got a little bit of bulk there. But remember, we don't have quilting on the Midtown. It's basically the same fabrication, water resistant. This has got quilting, this doesn't. And this has an extra like inch and a half of space, whereas this one doesn't. So that's where the keys are. Front pocket, wallet, AirPods, send a tech case. Go ahead and zipper that up. Middle compartment, I went ahead and threw my mask and my phone down in there, iPhone 11. Still meets the magnet, which is good so far. And then in this one, this is probably where I would use the zipper pocket again, because you could see there's not as much uh, width here, this way. So these two are basically touching where they weren't in this bag. And the lotion is like fighting to find its own space. We've got the sunglasses here in that slip pocket and in this one, I've got my hair tie and my chapstick. So these two are fighting for space and squishing this bottle of lotion where again, that did not happen here. So I think what I would do, I would either remove this because all it has in it is Tylenol and Excedrin. I would take that out and just let that sit in the bag because it is in the plastic case. And or I would take everything out of here and put that in the zipper pocket and then that would flatten this and the lotion could sit over here on its own and then either the lavender meadow case could stay or the little Excedrin Tylenol case could just be down there. And that would probably be perfect and I would not have to worry about the, the fighting for space in that back. But let's try to zip it up and see if we can even get it to zip. It does zip. But look at the bulk. So we do have some bulk there. 
and I think because the the midtown is not quilted, which I actually like, I like the quilting and I don't like the quilting. Um, I like both uh, with this type of fabrication. So I think the quilting looks great, but I also think it doesn't. I, I think without it looks pretty too. But I think because it doesn't have it, you can also see the bulk of the keys a little bit more. You could see the fabric kind of, you know, pulling and just looking a little bit distorted. So the back is still nice and flat. It's not very bulky. So this is what would be sitting up against my hip. And I like that it's still soft and it's not extremely bulky. The bulk you really see is on the sides and on the front. You see the fabric kind of pulling and that's the keys. The keys does that. And pretty much every one of my small bags, the keys makes it bulky. But the magnets still touch, so my phone is still protected. It's all the way down there, which is great. That's what I would want. And that's what the bottom looks like. So can you see it a little bit? This one's got, it's a little bit longer at the bottom versus this one. Maybe if I stacked them here, that would be more helpful. You see that? We got a little bit more space right there. So there's the, the bigger difference, but I do love this bag still. I really do. And I have one of these exact bag styles coming in Dandelion Wishes, which came out with the Lavender Meadow line. It is a beautiful, beautiful pattern. And I actually picked up a few things in Dandelion Wishes. So I'll be back on whenever that comes in and I will do like a mini haul on the Dandelion Wishes stuff. But anyway, I'll go ahead and, and, and just put this kind of on my body just so you can see this one. It, it's beautiful. I Again, I love these styles. These are, out of all the bags I showed you, the most alike. Oh, that's, there you go. That's kind of a good size comparison there. You can see that's a little bit bigger. But again, I like these types of bags because they are a little bit more streamlined if I didn't bulk it out so much. But um, just a great, just a great everyday little bag. And again, it, it was really rainy last night. It's, it's getting better out right now, but these are the bags that I would want to take outside when it's like that, especially because they're water resistant. And to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison to the other bags, see that there? That's the VBU crossbody. This is the mini multi compartment crossbody. And here's the mini Carson. And again, this is called the Midtown, Midtown crossbody. Same exact configuration as the um, triple compartment. So that is my comparison of the triple compartment crossbody to all the other bag styles with the same items loaded inside of each bag and how I would use that. Um, I hope that was a helpful video to anyone who is wondering, um, you know, the size comparison and what they fit. If you have any additional questions or if there's something that I missed or didn't address, leave it down below and I will answer your question as soon as I can. Hope you all have a great day and I will talk to you soon.